in meeting the skilled needs of teeming youth and addressing ever-rising challenges of unemployment and underemployment. Governments in many countries have been compelled to strengthen the link between vocational training institutions and the workplace. Nigeria has been witnessing a high number of graduates being churned out every year by the nation's universities and polytechnics with little or no opportunities of getting employment. More worrisome is that most of these graduates are not employable because they lack the requisite skills and competences and job creation has been inadequate to keep pace with the expanding working population. As Nigeria now appreciates the necessity of a competent workforce, the National Board for Technical Education NBTE, has since 2010 spearheaded the institutionalization of the National Vocational Qualification Framework NVQF in Nigeria, in line with the practice adopted by many countries. For too long we have been getting graduates coming out of our technical colleges. TV sector, even the universities, who don't have the skills and competences to match to the needs of the industry. So at one time, we are challenged. Most of the times, our graduates from the universities, polytechnics, and similar institutions uh, find it difficult to fit into the world of work uh, to ensure that there is a seamless uh, transition uh, between education and training, we looked at the best practices existing in other countries of the world and decided to adopt the National Vocational Qualifications Framework. The National Vocational Qualifications Framework, NVQF, is a system for the development, classification and recognition of skills, knowledge and competences acquired by individuals, irrespective of where and how the training or skill was acquired. The system gives a clear statement of what the learner must know or be able to do, whether the learning took place in a classroom, on the job or less formally. The framework indicates the comparability of different qualifications and how one can progress from one level to another. Institutionalization of the NVQF in Nigeria got a boost in 2013 when the Federal Executive Council approved a six-level system of qualifications for the country. Today, the National Vocational Qualification NVQ has metamorphosed to Nigerian Skills Qualifications NSQ to broaden the scope of participants in the program. The Nigerian Skills Qualification is about training, assessment and certification in both formal and non-formal technical environment. It is about defining individuals' competences and capabilities and gives recognition of skills and competences acquired on the job or from formal or informal training organizations based on nationally validated assessment and certification system. The Nigerian Skills Qualifications NSQ is a clear-cut statement of what the individuals must know or be able to do. If you go to any house that has been built now, you will find that virtually the finishing that is going to be done is being done by foreigners, simply because the training here has not recognized what is happening in the informal sector. So what is being launched is to bring all this under the purview of the Ministry of Education. We will now be certificating it and then categorizing it. The NSQ framework is managed based on National Occupational Standard NOS. Candidates are assessed on the job to ascertain their achievement or mastery of the National Occupational Standard before being awarded with the Nigerian Skills Qualifications NSQ. The National Occupational Standard are developed with inputs mainly from industry and regulated by guidelines from the NSQ Regulatory Agency. Delivery of the qualification requires different bodies exercising various responsibilities. These include 
Quality Assurance Agency, which supervises the functions of awarding bodies, qualification providers, standard setting bodies, and so on. Sector Skills Councils, responsible for development of standards. Awarding bodies, which administer assessment procedures, organizing the role of assessors, internal and external verifiers, and so on, and conduct of assessment. Training institutions that provide qualifications and assessment centers which assess NSQs according to awarding body criteria. You don't need to put anybody, anybody, when I say student, I mean individual, anybody, into the four walls of a classroom, of a classroom to make him have some one, one competency or another. You get him at the workplace, the artisans, apprenticeship kind of training. You get them, train them on the job, and finally award them with the necessary uh, qualifications. The Nigerian Skills Qualifications has benefits to the employee, employer, and the nation. For the employee, the NSQ provides evidence that the employee can do the job, job progression in employment, employer's recognition as measure of skills and abilities, competence, assessment at work while doing the job, and highly flexible training. One can choose to do a full NSQ or just units of it, and so on. For the employer, the NSQ increases productivity, reduces staff turnover, helps employers to recruit people with the required competences, provides proof that employee can work to industry standards in a particular job, role or discipline, and shows customers that an employer has competent workforce who can provide quality products and services. While for the nation, NSQ can improve the economy through well-trained workforce, support the government agenda of fixing the economy, help to reduce unemployment and provide trained workforce for export, provide quality products and services which are competitive in the market, widen access to education and training in TVET, and reduce examination malpractice and certificate racketeering. If the beauty of the system is that uh, it is done in such a way that uh, the skill is assessed irrespective of how that skill is uh, gotten, whether it is in a formal system, informal, or is even inbuilt. You could have somebody that is born intuitively with some talent, with some operational skills that are helpful in, the, in, the, in any job. This system allows such skills to be assessed, and that allows the person to be placed on appropriate uh, pedestal so that he can contribute his quota towards the productivity in that economy. So many skills exist in the Nigerian market. People are just doing their own. They are not coordinated. They are not branded. They are, there, is no, there is no part to it. So what this win is doing now is to bring all these skills together, brand them, give the, let, let's see what they are doing. The national occupation standard is developed for them. So that when you are working, we know the level that you are working. Then they are now being measured. The Nigerian Skills Qualifications as a framework has three dimensions. The National Skills Qualifications, NSQ, the National Occupational Standards, the National Skills Qualifications Training and Assessment System. Already, the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, has developed and received the approval of the Federal Executive Council for a six-level qualification system corresponding to qualifications obtained from the national educational system. These levels are Pre-Vocational, Junior Secondary School, National Vocational Certificate 1 and Trade Test 3 are equivalent to NSQ Level 1. National Vocational Certificate 2 and Trade Test 
are equivalent to NSQ Level 2. National Technical Certificate, National Business Certificate, National Vocational Certificate are all equivalent to NSQ Level 3. National Diploma, National Innovation Diploma and Advanced National Technical Certificate are all equivalent to NSQ Level 4. Degree and Higher National Diploma are equivalent to NSQ Level 5. While Postgraduate is equivalent to NSQ Level 6. This uh, placement is not saying that the two are, are the same, but rather the input to the economy, the complexity that is involved at that level, and the skills that are needed, the skills and competencies and knowledge base that are needed at that level is at par, we think, to the ones that are in the formal sector. And so also the remuneration that should come to somebody at that level should be similar or even better. Already, many individuals and organizations have queued into the Nigerian Skills Qualification Program, including NAPTIN, NAPTEB, NAC, LASTVEB, NIHOTO, NIOB, and COBON, are all doing well in developing capacity for the system and the nation's economy. Mafita is a non-governmental organization based in Kanu. Mafita, meaning way out, is engaged in training and human capacity building across many trades. We looked at our beneficiaries and we needed to know which levels that our beneficiaries could train on. And definitely, you couldn't go to any other place but the custodian of technical education in the country. And going there, we all agreed with NBT that we would train our beneficiaries along the national qualifications framework. And due to the profile we also agreed that we will train them at levels one and two of the national qualification framework. As you may be aware, they have six levels. In Lagos, Wavecrest College of Catering and Hospitality Management and Lagoon Institute of Hospitality are training providers in the hospitality industry providing them with hands-on knowledge. In order to ensure that the learners are actually competent in what they are doing, they go through the whole process with the assessor. And I, myself, as internal verifier, I go through what they have done as well to really be sure that the learners are actually competent with what they are doing. We have so many people that have been trained from crafts level to level two, level three, and also now they are professionals and they really have to get this qualification. It is something that we have to do in order to improve the labor market. And it's not just uh, people that ha they have been trained for such a long time and they cannot progress. The National Power Training Institute of Nigeria, NAPTIN, is already training hundreds of Nigerians in line with the National Skills Qualification. Indeed, the power sector is one area in need of qualified manpower with practical experience. We serve as a sector skill council as well as training providers. So as I'm talking to you, NAPTIN has trained and has a qualified assessors, internal verifiers, external quality assurance managers, and a lot of learners that cut across all the electricity value chain. That is the transmission, distribution, and the generation of the power sector. Universal Learn Direct Academy, ULDA, is a private building training academy in Lagos. It trains craftsmen and even fresh graduates in building trades. It already has trainees on levels one to three. To us in the industry 
and even as industry trainers. It's, it's the only certification now that can drive a lot of young ones, a lot of youths into construction trades because it's a global certification. Indeed, the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, is leaving no stone unturned in the pursuit for practical and hands-on capabilities of Nigerians while also certifying trained, tested and qualified professionals through the National Skills Qualification.